Okay, Brian, so this is the AOS. It's not in perfect shape, but it does have all of the metal in in place. It's it's somewhat damaged here and there, but it's in place. So you've got the John Deere and this full cone screen. This isn't bent too bad. Right here it's got a few dents. This is in place. This side here is missing a piece. It's wired together here. Here's the air intake. Here's this side under here. Carburetor. Here's the tag. This is number 618. I think that's what that is. Out of 800. The engine. It does turn over. I've been turning it. I can't do it with one hand, but it does turn over. And uh, I'll walk around back here. Here's some more of the fender damage. This under here is pretty good. Got the crankcase breather, the little uh, gasoline tank, steering box, everything down in here. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll show. I'll leave that open and show the magneto. The rims seem like they're in pretty good shape. A lot of tread on these tires. I believe this to be part of the seat bracket, and I don't know what some of this other junk laying in here is. Um, the clutch, it engages and disengages. This right here doesn't move. This is supposed to slide in and out. Well, actually, it does move a little bit. There we go. Yeah, it's moving. Steering wheel. It's all there. The brake pedal, that's one thing that doesn't move. <clears throat> Here's the, the back here. I believe it's got a PTO shaft. It does. It's got a PTO shaft. And then on this side here, there's another crack in the fender. And this grill on this side is complete. It's got all the screen. A muffler. If you can call it a muffler. There's the fuel bowl. The glass is sitting right here. Right there's where it's supposed to go. Here's the magneta. in pretty good shape being under that cover so of course it's missing that fuel tank cap so I stuck that cup on there but there it is the AOS